Hey guys, it's Samara from MLS.com and do a quick first impressions gameplay video for 300 Heroes, a free to play Chinese MOBA developed and published by a company called Jump. I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you're going to play uh, 300 Heroes or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MLS.com on the link below. So let's get started. It is a pretty infamous game, mainly because it is an obvious ripoff of League of Legends, and the game steals an incredible amount, incredible amount of art assets, characters from various animes, movies, and uh, video games. Here we literally have Wally on our team. We got the girl from Black Rock Shooter. We got uh, my character named Mirai from an anime which I don't know the name of, never seen it. We got uh, who's this guy? I think we got Archer from. Uh, is, we got Archer from. Fate as well, we have Miku, we got, I don't know that person, but we'll see some of our opponents as well, we got a character from Naruto, so the game, it steals the art assets from all these popular franchises, which is the reason this game can only exist in China, and I'm doing a video for this game because I've actually played a couple rounds before and I had a lot of fun with it, so I'm going to poke fun in a lot of the game, but I want to talk a bit of positives about it as well, I actually forgot to buy more potions, so let's go back and buy those potions, yo, I should be able to make it in time, hopefully. Hopefully my league skills will be able to carry me over in 300 heroes. We got one AFK on the team apparently, which is, that's not good. But it's a 7v7 game as well. So if Black Rock Shooter's AFK over there, ain't no big deal. Hopefully they'll come back though. So you, we got Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist over there. Gonna get mega ganked by that Wally, yo. Mess him up. Alright, easy. Easy Wally frags, boys. Easiest Wally frags that night. Are we gonna get, oh no, he's gonna get away. Don't tower dive. It's a new, oh my god, this guy, this Baka almost died. I think this guy reconnected, yeah. Is he coming back? Or maybe disconnected? I don't know. But anyway, let's get into our lane and do some business. Again, I'm not sure who this guy is too. In fact, the game is actually about 135 heroes spanning pretty much every popular anime franchise. So there's a lot of things that's funny about this game, but for now, let's just worry about uh, getting some kills, hopefully. Oh, that's right, what are you doing? Walk up to two people and try to melee us? Come on. First of all, it is the exact map in League of Legends. It's uh, literally the exact map with the jungle camps in the same exact spots. But probably my favorite thing and the funniest thing in my opinion is that the jungle creeps are literally Pokemon. They're literally killing Pidgeys in the Wraith camp. And it, it's just so nonsensical. And in fact, you have uh, Nidto Kings and Nidto Queens as blue and red buff. You have Rattata as, as wolf spawns, which you'll see throughout this game hopefully. Which you definitely will actually. And both Baron and Dragon are Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Yu-Gi-Oh dragons. But uh, beyond the silliness and the absurdity of the game, uh, the core gameplay mechanics are similar to League. It's a very similar game. You have summoner spells, you got you got masteries. Oh, we can get a kill right here, boys. Here, let's get him. Oh, JK, I should not be diving this. Hey, where's my backup? We could have had that guy. JK, it's 3v2 on bot lane. But just, I, I wasted my ghost as well, so I derped. Maybe we can kill him. But the fact that 7v7 ensures an incredibly chaotic experience, I just... It just... It's just funny that they get away with this, and this again, this can only happen. This guy is he really like? Does this guy really want to fight us there? I mean, he he still got away, so we can't really make fun of him. We we, we couldn't get the kill. But uh, all the heroes in this game, you have people like you have characters like Sephiroth. You got you got a lot of the Madoka characters. You got One Piece, Naruto. You even got a character from my favorite anime, Steins Gate. So you play as Makisa Kurosu, and they're even adding ReZero characters, Rem and Ram, to 300 heroes. Uh, beyond. A lot of the anime appeal of the game and the crazy characters. It's actually not a bad game in its core mechanics. It's not balanced by any means. Uh, they don't respect copyrights, but let's put the copyright stuff aside, right? The core gameplay is just a knockoff of League, but when you have all these crazy characters that you can, you know, you kind of enjoy seeing from your favorite shows and video games, it kind of makes it a little more entertaining. Their abilities are obviously from the shows and the, the games they're from, which makes it a lot of fun. Uh, it's not balanced at all, but the fact that you have the crazy variety of characters, pretty decent production value. Like, look at the actual animations themselves in-game. They're not bad. Oh, we can get a kill right here. I'm fe oh, he's just getting away, JK. We can just do it on my character. You can see, look, the artwork is definitely not bad. We can actually dance as well. Look at the sick dance we're rocking in the middle of the lane when we got these minis beating on us. But yeah, you have great spell effects, solid animations, and overall a pretty enjoyably fun game. The biggest drawback is the ping. And I'm sure there's some pay to win elements too because it is Chinese. I couldn't really explore too many of those because the game client is not uh, in English. So it's tough to realize how that works. There's an odd like equipment system outside the game, which I'm not entirely sure how it works. But I'm pretty sure it has some pay to win elements there, VIP elements too. But I've, I've already played like at least like six, seven, eight games of this out of pure fun. It's a crazy chaotic mess. Don't expect a balanced experience. It's going to be laggy. People are going to disconnect and whatnot because it's 7v7. You know, you got 
You know, you complain about feeders on your team in League with only four other teammates. You got six of the feeders on your game uh, in 300 Heroes. Like, what other game has, like, Naruto characters and Wally and Sephiroth on the same team? Nothing. It's just this one. Uh, my last hitting is actually pretty bad right now because it is hard to get last hits with uh, 300 ping. And that's really the biggest drawback to the game, in my opinion, is the high ping. And player base wise, this game is doing quite well in China. It's got about 10,000 players online at off ish hours. You go at peak hours, probably over 12,000, 13,000. The game does keep a running count of concurrent users in the client itself, which is, which is quite nice. So the game is popular. Queues are quick. There's ranked mode, there's ARAM, there's normal mode, which we're playing right now. I don't know what this guy is. Oh my god, I missed my Q because I can't trigger fast enough because that ping. So uh, my character Mirai, all the abilities are in, uh, unfortunately earned Chinese. Though if you search the name of your hero, or rather your anime character, and search 300 Heroes Wiki, you can find English translations of it all online. And given that it's a MOBA, the translations are really not a big deal. You know, you don't need to know the character's lore or the flavor text on your abilities. My W gives me a shield, right? I didn't have to look any of this up. W gives me a shield that makes me go faster. My Q is like an AoE. I hit everything near me. Uh, my E actually is a dash. I can dash. The, and it's actually like the flash, like the noise in the background is flash. And in fact, all the announcer cues and noises in 300 Heroes are directly from League. Literally identical to League, but they changed the pitch of it so it sounds stupid and worse. But it's just taken from League, so it is what it is. And some of the hero concepts are very much taken from other games as well. In fact, this game lit literally has a hero called Anti-Mage, which is a, a character in, in Dota. And there's literally Queen of Pain as well. I mean, the Chinese company behind this game gives literally no Fs at all. Look at that sick shadow over there, guys. Gives no Fs at all about copyrights and whatnot. Um, my ultimate is a little more confusing. I think basically every auto attack I do and every time an enemy hits me, I give them like a blood stack. I think that reduces their armor. And it all takes advantage of that in some way or another. So, and we get free wards with our Z. And you got the same summoner spells as well. We got, we're rocking, uh, we're rocking heal and ghost right now. I've only played a handful of characters. The game's pretty generous with unlocking uh, new characters by, uh, just playing the game with login rewards and whatnot. Let's go get him. We can get we can, we can kill these guys. What are we afraid of? Let's get him. All right, easy frags, boys. There it is. KS stolen though. I'm not sure why they're playing so aggressive when we have. Uh... I don't think we can kill him though. Oh god, I we don't want to die that tower. They were playing aggressive. When we get when like, I had my alt and they didn't. But I'm not gonna complain. You know, I get I get. I'll take the free win. I'll take the free win. So we're getting hit by a global alt right now. It's I, It just does like a, a little bit of damage on us when you see those gears. I kind of want to dive her, but we're not going to get the kill. If I had ignite, I would totally dive. The game is ignite as well. It has flash, ignite, heal, teleport, revive. All the summoner spells you know from Lee. So on the con side of this game, it lacks originality and mechanics. But it makes up for it. Into, it's just stupid fun. You know, 7v7, crazy MOBA nonsense. It's literally just one of the most nonsensical games I've ever played. And also surprisingly fun in its craziness. I mean, if the ping wasn't such an issue, because like there is obviously noticeable you know, problems playing with high ping because the game is in China. I'd probably play it a bit more just for the hell of it. I mean, I'm not taking the game too seriously. Obviously, if you play rank mode, it's going to get more try hard. But these casual games and quick play can be a lot of fun. Obviously, navigating the interface outside the game is a bit of a hassle. Adding people to my friends list and figuring out how to make uh, group games took like a good five minutes of just messing around with. And making an account is a little bit of a hassle too. But I'll put a guide on that in the link below. At least a small uh, like links on where you can do it all. But again, the core gameplay is not bad. Only because they did copy League and you got all these fun heroes. Balance goes out the window though. Uh, don't expect any kind of like semblance of balance in this game. Uh, certain heroes do feel really, really strong. I've seen, uh, I've seen what's her name uh, from Attack on Titan in the game a couple times. Oh man, we got sick Alphonse Elric down here. He's basically Alistair, by the way. His hero design is literally almost Alistair. He has Alistair's headbutt and pulverize. Though his uh, W, instead of, you know, his W is actually uh, almost like an AoE Thorns or Immolation. But yeah, there's no balance in this game almost. You got, uh, oh my god, what is this guy doing? Does he, like, does he enjoy feeding me? What? How do we not get him? All right, thanks for... I mean, I was taking damage, but he, he kind of saved me. Blackrock Shitter is an ADC, so we don't want to get too close to them. Oh, man. I can't believe that guy got away, though. With such He's still staying... Like, what is he doing? Does he really want to die that badly? Yeah, there are feeders in uh, Chinese games as well. But my team is dunking right now. It's 9-1. and one. It's not always so one-sided. And the crazy thing, too, here is uh, the score does get unwieldy and insane. It's, I mean, it's not uncommon to end the game like 90 kills to 100 kills. Looks like we have, uh, we killed an enemy, uh, War Greymon. So there's Digimon in this as well. 
So again, look at the. I want to show you some more junglers because the jungle is hilarious. Seeing Pokemon in the jungle is just is just such nonsense and it's funny. So you gotta go kill some Cubones at, at Golem uh, Golem Camp, and the Golem Camp is literally Cubones. My team is just gonna get some mega kills over here. All right, looks like we can get a kill right here. Ain't no escape. Oh yeah, did I get the kill? No, I have zero kills, two assists. Oh man, kills being stolen left and right. But again, the balance is a pretty serious issue. Uh, it's not going to ruin the game because when it's seven on seven, having one character slightly OP isn't really going to make a big deal. Holy crap! All right, we're gonna get out of here. I just want to be get the kill. No, we almost stole the kill. The guy dove in one v three and thought he was gonna get some kills, but nope, no dice. But yeah, there's a character from Tag and Titan in the game who has obscene mobility. I've seen other characters feel really strong as well. I mean, certain heroes you can't even get unless you're like in VIP level, which I suspect those are like kind of the OP heroes. There's a lot of Fate heroes in the game as uh, in the game as well. The shopkeeper is a character in Fate. Forgot their name off the top of my head though. But let's buy. We're buying recommended. I don't think these recommended items are particularly good, but we're gonna rock them anyway, only because I don't want to think too much about what I'm buying. So let's buy some consumables. And some of it is in English because I am rocking a, a partial English patch, which will be included in the link below. There's like gold per five items and whatnot too. Let's zoom back out and let's see what's going on top lane. Yeah, we got a character. We got Asuna from Sword Art Online and War Greymon. We got uh, Miku. So it, it, it's fun seeing like characters you know from popular animes and video games and whatnot appear in a MOBA. And it just it's a charming little game because of that. You got Shana from Shakugan no Shana. And, oh man, she's doing work, yo. Let's go help out. We'll put more points to my W. My W is movement. I want to max out my Q first because there's tons of deeps. I don't think this game has a Singe clone yet. Oh, here he comes to kill. Here I am, boys. If I don't get this. Oh, no, he got away. Oh, no. Oh, no. I couldn't get him. I had nothing. If I had Ignite, we would have had that. Oh, no. I can't get any kills. Whatever. My team is still absolutely dumps uh, dumpstering them. Uh, do you really want to stay over there? All right, good choice, buddy. You decided to stay in lane with one HP. Some things never change. There are awful players in every MOBA. But I, you can surrender in 15 minutes, which is, I guess, a nice part about this game. I kind of like to be able to surrender early if, you know, the majority of people do vote for it. You got the same pings from League. I right, we go healing. Let's go kill some, uh, let's go kill some jungles. All right, let's go, let's go Pokemon hunting. In fact, some of the jungle items are called, like, Master Ball. Like, I think an item that helps you kill things in the jungle are called, one of them is literally called a Master Ball. Right, there you go, Master Ball R. And it's really good against jungling enemies. So instead of jungle items, you have Master Balls, which are great at killing Pokemon. Which is, it's one of the most nonsensical and funny things to play this game with a friend and have him see what's in the jungle. It's like, is that seriously a Nidoking right there? Like, what the fuck? Like, is this real life? And yes, this is real life. This is 300 heroes. Uh, they'll be adding more and more uh, heroes to the game as time goes by. The game is popular. They had Shrek at one point, and I saw a Donkey's video a while ago. And the game is hilarious. It's just hilarious nonsense that if you want to play a game and not take it seriously, give 300 heroes a try. The core gameplay isn't bad. I'm having fun with it, honestly. And fun in a silly kind of way. The balance isn't there. There's some. Uh, I think I do think there's some pay to win elements, and some heroes not being accessible unless you're VIP level. But throw all that aside. I mean, you can have fun playing this game just for what it is. You know, the ping is obviously going to distract from the fun. But it's look. I'm literally killing Cubones in the jungle. It's like so silly and so funny that you you play Sephiroth as well. Like there's so many. It's just nuts how many characters they included in here from like so many popular and some obscure anime franchises. Though you don't get all of them right away, obviously. Uh, we're gonna kill that tower and this guy's Miku's got that CC on you. That they're gonna surrender in five minutes in, you know, in a few minutes. This is a really one-sided game. We got uh, was that Kirito down there? I think they might get a Kirito on their team. Oh man, we dropped two wards in there. You know it's legit. And I love how the jungle spawns are literally in the same exact spots as uh. As they are in uh, in league, they didn't even bother changing that at all. Oh man, I don't. We can't really dive you, but uh, we'll see. I got I got that red buff. There's some AOE over here. We got a heal. Oh, Wally needs help, boys. Wally's getting chased by the guy from Full Metal Alchemist. I'll, I'll pop my ghost. Why not? All right. Oh, we got a kill finally, boys. We did it. Oh, they get the blue as well. Yeah, I got the double buffs. All right, time to kill some more Pokemon. Let's go hunt some Rattatas. <laughs> what game can you play as like <laughs> anime characters hunting Rattatas in in a League of Legends clone? Only in China can this happen. I mean, thanks to the non-enforcement of copyright laws, you get wonderful titles like this. I mean, look, 
We've seen a lot of browser games that are nonsensical that rip off like our assets from Western games and stuff and whatnot. And look, this is not a, this is not a discussion about copyrights and whatnot. I just think it creates a fun experience for. Oh god, we're gonna get the frick out of here. Pop a potion. Uh, I mean, this guy wants to fight, but I I I, I kind of want to book it. All right, we're out of here, boys. Don't die. No, he's dead. Am I gonna make it? I think we'll be okay. One second for my speed buff. Oh god, we're good. We're good. Let's go kill some more Pokemon. Drop my ward over there. He's probably yelling at me in Chinese, telling me, Why'd you run, you pussy? Yo, you, I want to kill some of these Cubones. He doesn't let me. He's really trying to cut me off. Nah, I got it. Oh, God. All right, let's, uh, we, can, we can kill this guy, actually. He's outnumbered. Easy, Frags. He thought he can stop me from killing the Cubones. Nope. Easy. As, oh, my God. He just stole my Cubone. Report him. Report him, boys. But, yeah, this game was an unusual stomp. It's not always this close, obviously. And... Honestly, most of the time, I mean, it usually ends up being one-sided from my from the six, seven games I've played. But these are all low-tier games. There are ranked matches as well. We're not actually buying that Pokeball. We're going to go buy a recommended. And I guess we'll get this next. But yeah, uh, there's there's more try-hard game modes as well. You can play ranked once you get to level 30. But it's it's a silly fun game. You know, I've, I, I've never... This is probably the most fun, like, copyright in ignoring Chinese game I've ever played. And it's, it's, I think it's more fun than like stuff like Heroes Evolved, which is uh, another Chinese MOBA developed and published by R2 Games. I mean, this is actually a surprisingly high production value game. Like the actual character art and stuff. I'm sure they steal all the assets from like like the wallpaper assets like in the character splash art and whatnot. But I mean, they had to make some of the assets. Oh, it's going to kill it right here, boys. Easy frag. Get him. Ain't no escape. Oh, man. Don't you steal my kill. Goddamn. Naruto character. I don't know your name. I, I don't watch Naruto. All right. Oh, God. I'm ulting. That does no damage, I think, but it gives me... Oh, we got him, JK. It does damage. Easy kills. It does damage based on, I believe, uh, how many stacks of this, like, this debuff I put on them. Every time my character gets hit or hit the enemy, I do put a stack of uh, that debuff on them. There are some, you know... Oh, they surrendered. That is the game, unfortunately. That was a quick one. These games, on average, though, they typically drag out, which is kind of a big negative. I, most of the time, my average game is like 45, 50 minutes. So if you don't want to play a long time, this, that, that would be a con for you. But playing like 100, like 50 minutes of crazy nonsense of like 100 people dying on each side, it can be a lot of fun. So max skill, guys. Wally literally carried us. All right. Wally, the champ. And uh, again, this, if you look at the repertoire of heroes in this game, it is absolutely nuts. Maybe I'll show that off later. But if you guys do want to play 300 Heroes or learn more about it, do check the full review on MMOs.com on the link below. I say that and we don't really have a full review for this game, but maybe one day we will. Anyway, guys, later. And actually, no, we can see some of the menu stuff over here too, actually. So before we do that, take a quick look at the Heroes. You can play as Makise from Steins Gate and there's even a nice beach skin. You have such a crazy assortment of Heroes. We can click through some of them. You got Rock Lee. We got Euclid. I'm saying that horribly wrong. You got you got characters from the the boat anime, can, boat anime Kankale. You got a lot of Madoka characters. You got Neptunia. You got again. There's a remarkable amount of characters from video games, anime, and even Western movies. Again with Wally, -E. and you literally just have a torrent. Just just throw them in there for the for shits and giggles. Some of them don't have the splash art made yet, but in game they look like what they're supposed to. So it's a pretty nuts game. If you don't care about balance and you want to have some crazy fun, check out 300 Heroes. I think I think you'll have fun if you can get past uh, installing it and creating your account. But yeah, later guys.